Hey. Uh, so my name is Torrance Beamish and my show at the 5050 Arts Collective is called False Perspectives. Uh, it's an exhibition of ceramic and painted works that I've done over the last year while living in Victoria. Um, they're stemming from the idea of combining um, uh, geometric, uh, architectural, and organic forms of growth and building. So these, the paintings are all composed from individual architectural and geometric and organic uh, elements to form a cohesive whole. And the same sort of uh, idea is playing out on the surfaces of the paint of the ceramic works as well. Um, I'm interested in the uh, the history and the uh, the role of ceramics as an architectural. Um, decoration or as an architectural complement and these uh, I thought, thought that uh, making larger images out of tiled plates uh, to be hung on the wall was an interesting way to uh, come at that idea and, and uh, get involved in making ceramics to have a role as an architectural uh, complement. So the ceramic pieces are all made up of multiple parts, multiple individual p uh, plates, dessert plates, and some larger plates in another piece at, um, that can hang on the wall, be a decorative item, but also serve a use in, uh, in a sort of function as, uh, as a ceramic plate as well. Why do you uh, choose like dessert plate? You know? uh, I like the... Um, I like the, the size, it's nice to work on uh, the small modules of the dessert plates, um, as well as the, uh, the they're a, a just a bit, more, a bit more precious, there's a, bit, a little bit of a ritual to them, they're not something to use every day, there's, you might bring them on down from a, for a special occasion, as opposed to to have just a day-to-day -day, uh, function. And the dessert plates can be a little more colorful, a little more fun. Mm -hmm. The shapes have to do with something. I mean, it's part of that. Yeah, they're, they're all all the shapes of the plates are based on uh, uh, quatrefoil, a traditional uh, form in uh, in design and in architecture that I'm I'm trying to reference in them, and just as a combination, and it itself is a combination of. Uh, geometric and organic parts to form a cohesive whole. And not uh, talking about the paintings here, and yes. not um, titling each painting. No, they're, they're titled for their series. The series is called uh, is called Model Theories, and it's that idea that. They can, they're all composed from different elements. And if you look through the series, you'll see some of the same elements, some of the same color combinations repeated, but always in a different context, always in a different way. So they, they have a bit of a different, uh, they're creating a different image every time from these, these elements, these uh, models or um, uh, like stock shapes that I've been using to make up, made up my own, uh, my own series of symbols to make my own series of paintings. So you, you, do you always work like with painting and ceramics at the same time? Uh, this is my first, uh, this is my first uh, a big attempt at paintings in a while. I've been mostly focusing on ceramics, but this, uh, for this work I really wanted something that could uh, combine my interests in purely two-dimensional uh, two-dimensional work is, and ceramic uh, three-dimensional work. Um, and the paintings served as a jumping off point for the plates for a large part as well. Um, they were they're a bit of a precursor to the ceramic objects. Choosing paper for your paintings had to do with some the elements for what you wanted to to say? I mean, uh, choosing paper as opposed to canvas? I like working on paper better than canvas. That's a personal choice. I just it's something I can uh, find I work well in my studio at home. Uh, if I have a small, I have a small space to work in at home, and it's it's uh, it's it was an art practice that adapted to that situation. And uh, when I found a ceramic studio here in Victoria to work out of, I 
my process adapted to ceramics again.